everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. Today's video is going to be very, very useful. If you are going to watch out, you will com completely agree with me. So this video is all about ARS net examination. So we used to get a lot of questions from the uh, viewers asking about what is this ARS net examination going to be. So I'm going to talk about the complete details. So the topic is going to be ARS net examination, everything you need to know. So first, let me give you an outline of what is this ARS net exam and then we'll be talking about what is ARF and what is NET. So first let's talk about what is ARS NET examination. So this ARS NET examination is actually conducted by Agricultural Scientist Recruitment Board. So you're actually seeing I'm going to show you the website also if anybody wanted to know about it you can go to the website and you can actually check in over and this is ARS is Agricultural Research Service which is ARS NET is National Eligibility test which is net. So I'm going to differentiate what is this ARS for and what is this net for. When we talk in case of 2021 we have a combined notification for ARS and for net along with some senior technical positions also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate what is ARS and net for all of you and the conducting body is going to be ASRB. So sometimes you will see ASRB net also which is nothing but the same thing so do not get confused with ARS net and ASRB net both are going to be same the conducting body is mentioned over there so this is the website if you go to the website you'll see a page like this and then you can look in for what are the syllabus available everything in detail and when's going to be the notification application process everything you can see it over here and this is a national level examination and this examination will be conducted every year once in a year and and the tentative date is going to be uh, for ARS. I'm going to tell you what is this ARS for, which is Agriculture Research Service. This is for recruiting scientists in ICAR laboratories. So there are going to be three levels of examination in case of ARS. So prelims exams, mains exams and viva vos is going to be similar to that of UPSC. So prelims notification you can expect or the examination you can expect by April or June and the mains examination by August or September and for net examination ARS net is conducted together ARS is for a scientist position and net is for post of lecturer or assistant professor in state agricultural universities as well as some other agricultural university if you want to become an assistant professor in agricultural universities then you have to write ARS net examination then you can become a professor or if you want to become a scientist in ICAR laboratories, then you can write ARS exam, net examination very specifically this uh, one you'll be going in for. So net exam is going to be online, whereas ARS prelims is going to be online and mains is going to be paper and pen method. So this is different. So I'll be talking about this also in detail and you will be going and writing prelims of ARS examination or net of examination in almost 32 centers and it can be variable. If anybody wanted to become a scientist you can write ma prelims mains and viva was if anybody wanted to become a professor then you can write the syllabus for net examination you can follow and you can write this examination now let's talk about what is the purpose of this examination as i already mentioned what is this ars meant for and net meant for both are both combined notification can come together so ars is for scientist recruitment where you have prelims mains and viva was and you can become scientist in agricultural research service of ICAR laboratories as I already mentioned and the second one is going to be if you want to become a professor then you have to write net examination which is ARS net both are same names but you will be having a different pattern of examination so when you are going to submit the forms you have to click whether it's for ARS or whether it's for net you have to click the first uh, if you become a scientist in ICAR laboratory through this ARS net examination you can this is the revised pay scale so rupees 57,000 to almost 180,000 per month you can earn and for net examination if you clear this ARS net examination this pattern of examination then you can become a professor in a state agricultural universities or any of the other agricultural universities also 
Now, let's talk about the levels of examination. So if I talk about ARS net examination, so ARS, if you want to become a scientist, you have to click on to ARS. And here there are three levels of examination. So first one is prelims examination, which is CBT online mode. And the second one, if you clear CBT, then it will be a mains examination where it will be pen and paper method. And the third one is Viva Voice. If you clear all these things together, then only you can become a scientist. Or if you want to become an uh, assistant professor, then you can click on to net. And here it is also going to be CBT mode, which is online. But the pattern of examination or the syllabus for both the situation, both the cases are different. So accordingly, you should apply for this one. Okay, now we understood what is this ARS net. Now let me talk about what is this ARS separately and net separately. But the examinations are going to be same. But the different patterns in the question paper for each of these are going to be different. So ARS is for recruitment for post of ARS scientist in ICA laboratory and the number of vacancy will be variable. So according to the disciplines or for the department, the vacancy will be variable and all Indian nationals can apply for this one. Even uh, Nepal people can apply for this one. An age limit is going to be you have to be 21 years, but you should not have reached 32 years. If you are in 21 years, then you can apply for this one. And the age relaxation is given. If you are belonging to SCST, there is five years of relaxation. If you are belonging to OBC, then it is three years of relaxation. If you are belonging to person with benchmark disability, then you can definitely have 10 years of relaxation. So this is for uh, the uh, relaxation for people who can write ARS. Now the next question comes for us is master's degree people can apply for this ARS very specifically to become a scientist in a concerned uh, discipline like uh, plant biotechnology. There are different disciplines. I'll be showing you all that. So according if you want to become a scientist in plant biotechnology, then what are the master's degree you have specifically is given in the site. So you can check on to that. And there is a restriction which is given here. Suppose if you have qualified ARS examination previously in the same sub subject, let's take it as plant biotechnology, you have returned this examination and you have qualified ARS till Viva OS. And the next time you should not compete for the same ARS examination. But if you want to go for another discipline, other discipline, then you can apply for that one. That's going to be the restriction which they are talking about. How many attempts you can make? So if you're belonging to a general or economically weaker section, you can write almost six times. And if you're belonging to ESC or ST, there's no restrictions for you. You can write unlimited number of time. And OBC or person with benchmark disability, you can write almost nine times. So now the next question comes for us is disciplines. I told you masters in specific disciplines. So these are going to be the disciplines. So you can have uh, complete details here. So I have a complete screenshot of all these things like agricultural entomology, microbiology, and it goes agronomy. So almost 35 here and at another or also there environmental science, soil science, bioinformatics, food technology, uh, electronics and instrumentation. If anybody wants to take a screenshot, you can definitely go in for this one. So whichever animal biotechnology is there, biochemistry is there, uh, fruit science is there, seeds, seed science and technology, plant physiology, plant pathology, plant microbiology. So everybody can apply for this one. If you're belonging to masters in any of these fields, then you can apply for this one. Next important thing is what's the pattern of examination? I'm going to tell you. So as I already told you, there's going to be prelims, there's going to be mains and there's going to be viva verse. For prelims, I told you it's going to be an online mode. So you are going to have objective questions and it's going to be a bilingual form. You'll have in Hindi as well as in English and there are going to be 150 marks and the negative mark is going to be one by third. Okay, and the examination is almost going to be for two hours. So it's 150 marks. So you can write this examination. It's an objective examination. So based on the discipline, your syllabus is given. So you can look on to the website. The syllabus are given for different disciplines. If you want to go for plant biotechnology, the syllabus is given. You have to study that one and you have to write this one. Next is ARS main. If you clear prelims examination, then you can go for mains examination. But the marks will not be carried out forward. It is only for going for the next level. So ARS mains examination is going to be descriptive, not objective. You have to write uh, a, a two mark kind of questions and then you have to write a paragraph type and you have to write an essay. So it is a one paper and it's going to be not online. It is pen and paper method and the mark is going to be 240 marks. And this is for three hours, whereas uh, prelims for 
is for two hours and there are three sections part a part b and part c part a has 40 questions so two marks you're going to have and part b has 20 questions which has five marks so part a is very basically two marks means you need to have some uh, 10 words and part b it's five marks so you need to have a paragraph type of questions you have to write beneath the question given and part c is you have six essays and each essay is going to be 10 marks so it is a descriptive paper so it's ars means examination according to your discipline you'll have these questions the next is going to be viva verse if you clear means examinations then you will be called for the interview in order to check your ability to become a scientist in icr laboratories or not so ars net is a combined examination which is conducted to recruit a scientist or as well as to conduct or to recruit an assistant professor or we can say it is mainly for a job opportunity to become a scientist or becoming an assistant professor this is not meant for becoming or entering into a phd positions okay so but you can have master's degree so master's degree graduates can definitely go for this one next one so net examination the pattern is going to be kind of different here so this is for position of lecturer or assistant professor in state agricultural university or any other university and the nationality is going to be indian and here the age limit is 21 there's no upper age limit but for ars we have seen there is an age limit but here there's no age limit so if your masters and if you have plant biotechnology or animal biotechnology or biochemistry or so seed um, uh, chemistry whatever it is then you can definitely go for this one as i already mentioned the respective discipline in master's degree you can apply for this one and the number of attempts is no restriction but in case of ARS we have restrictions in general have six times only you can write whereas uh, OBC candidates have nine times only you can write but here it's not the case if you want to become assistant professor in agriculture university you can write ARS net examination and very specifically net you will be targeting on the pattern of examination is kind of different here it's only one paper you don't have prelims mains and viva verse you have only one paper which is in bilingual Hindi and English and there are 150 questions here and every you know, question carries one mark so totally 150 marks for you and it's an objective based question there is no descriptive based question and this examination is going to be for two hours similar to that of a preliminary so preliminary examinations and net examination ARS preliminary and this is going to be kind of uh, very much similar and that's why it's going to be online mode but mains is going to be for offline mode and disciplines uh, these are the disciplines so you can also check in for the website so I have given agricultural biotechnology one example I'm going to give you if you're belonging to agriculture biotechnology you should be masters in agriculture biotechnology or molecular biology or biotechnology or life sciences with specialization in plant biotechnology so these are some of the master's degree with the respective discipline is given suppose if you wanted to uh, enter into plant biochemistry plant biochemistry if you want to take as your discipline subject the code number is seven so you need to have this specialization then you can write this examination and become an assistant professor so this is another one it starts from computer application and IET also veterinary anatomy electronics and instrumentations everything is available here and this is the syllabus if anybody wants to know about the syllabus you can go to this one I'm just displaying it for a moment if anybody want to take a screenshot you can definitely go for this one so since uh, it's going to be a very vast syllabus i cannot com incorporate over here so you can check on to this uh, website very specifically and you will get to know about so this is ars examination which is a wonderful opportunity it is just an alternative to that of a csar examination so if anybody is very much interested and to become a uh, assistant professor in agricultural university or state agricultural university you can go for ars net examination which has similarity of preliminary preliminary examination of ars and net examination that's why it's combined examination almost everything is similar whereas if you want to become a scientist in icar laboratory this is one of the opportunities so you have to write prelims mains and viva verse so whatever it is ars net examination is for a job opportunity in agricultural sectors so this is all about the ARS net examination, everything you need to know. If you have any questions regarding ARS net examination, please put it in the comment section and we are going to help you. Thank you all of you for joining. I'm going to meet you back again with another wonderful video.